here's the look. So pretty. And we are headed there. But there's nothing vegan on here so that's why i haven't been yet but oh i may take a picture like right here oh wow they still have the old slot machines here that is so crazy It's so pretty, so we're about to get some pics here. bag I brought babe snacks in and why is this a vibe? How cute. Ooh, we're at the Caesars where they have all the high-end shopping. It's so pretty in here. You guys know I love it in here. Oh my gosh, the event was so cute. They had the vegan hors d'oeuvres for us and I did not know we were gonna be making cute little flower bouquets. All the girls were just taking pictures all night with them. Like, it was such a hit. So you guys, check them out. Like, 
like if you're in Vegas, you're wanting to get a cocktail, just have a sexy, chill vibe at the strip. And the views of the Bellagio fountains were just, oh my gosh, beautiful from there. Do you guys remember when I would come to this H&M? <gasps> Azara is coming here. Oh my gosh, they snatched that up so quick. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are the chocolates Space got me for Valentine's Day. Oh, the cute little Las Vegas ones. Oh, how cute. I just got a little trinket. Good. Why did they tell us today is literally the first day of their spring menu? Mm, so I'm trying the matcha lavender latte. Oh, this is busy. Cheers. of the week so I have my hair done for the week especially because that's usually when I'm filming or doing content and it is a beautiful day out you guys it is 75 degrees it has been like so slow to warm up out here in Vegas I actually have on my Lululemon Align tank top and I did not even have to wear my jacket with it now today we're doing something a little different because I'm actually trying some new products by Kerastase. So they sent me over their whole new line from their premier line, the one that Sydney Sweeney is actually promoting. And I cannot wait, I wanted to do an unboxing at home, but I did not want to be late, so I thought I'd try all the products, film it, and then when we get back, I can talk about it. This line is actually for damaged hair and I brought pretty much everything. So we're gonna be using that today. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so good because if you guys saw in my last vlog, I went to yoga and it just felt so good. And I actually forgot to check in with you guys and like give an update on how the yoga went. But it was amazing and I always, always recommend yoga to anyone who has like a low impact lifestyle like me, who works from home, who's on the computer, and you don't necessarily wanna go to the gym. Oh, great, just the ambulance. Ooh, ooh. You don't necessarily wanna go to the gym, but you do wanna get your body moving. But I was so proud of myself because she said, you know, in the beginning to check in with yourself, see, where you're at, how you're feeling. And I actually was feeling really good and light and just happy. Usually when I go to yoga, you know, I'm there to let something go and to, you know, kind of get off of my energy. But this time I just felt so light and happy and it was almost like I was in the vibration of gratitude. So I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I am just doing so good. I'm feeling so good. And I actually was in hibernation like most of the winter. And I just could feel myself coming out of hibernation when the spring hit. I am just feeling so good. So we are about to pull up you guys. I will see you when I'm done with my hair appointment. So I'm really excited 
excited to try this new Premier line because it's actually made to remove calcium buildup from your hair and build it back up to give it great shine and protection from breakage. So first we're going in with the repairing pre-shampoo treatment and this is like nothing I've ever used because you actually put this on before you shampoo but you do not rinse it out. Then you go in with their repairing shampoo and just mix them both together. And I just felt like I got a really good clean but it did not strip my hair which I love. Oh and I did ask my stylist why she wears gloves to wash my hair and you guys I could not believe why. It's because she actually has dermatitis on her hands and she showed them to me and I felt so bad. Her hands are always wet and she said she does like around 10 to 11 clients a day. The fragrance from the dry bar products have really irritated her hands, she said. So I was shocked. And like you guys know, I only do one shampoo and then we're going into our first conditioner, which is their repairing conditioner. Now, it actually restores 99% of your hair's natural strength. And it felt really moisturizing and like it was quenching my hair's thirst. So last but not least, we're going in with the anti-breakage repairing hair mask. And I was super excited about this because you guys know I have been trying to get a hair mask. And after using all those products, my hair just felt so refreshed and renewed. Now you guys know I love to prep my hair before the blowout. So this time I'm using the repairing anti-frizz serum and the dry bar prep rally to help detangle. And she just styled my hair as usual. windstorm but I came over to the wind because girl I have to get one of these rose matcha lattes from earth it has literally been calling my name you guys so I thought I'd stop over here real quick girl we are back again <laughs> one thing about a Capricorn girl she is a creature of habit. Oh, my hair got like blown away. It is so pretty in here. Everything's just so beautiful. Their package, how sweet. 
Okay, you guys, I am back home. We have to talk about these hair products. Me and my hairstylist were both blown away by the results and I don't even know where to start. So for one, this is the package that Kerastyle sent me. They're Sydney Sweeney. And you guys, I do not know where these other two boxes went. I literally have been looking forever and they literally just disappeared. So, so this is the Premier Fondant line. And girl, it was giving. So what's really cool about this is that the first product we used, Decalcifying System Reparative Pre-Shampoo Treatment. So the cool thing about this line is that it is meant to decalcify your hair from the calcium in hard water that you get from washing your hair. It's meant to decalcify and then rebuild everything back up to give it a lot of shine, bounce by reconnecting the broken links between the keratin strands and girl it did all that and more okay so for one now you guys know my hair did get blown away in the freaking wind so i feel like it fell a little bit but girl it is doing its thing this pre-shampoo is really cool because you put this on first and then you let it sit for five minutes and then you add your shampoo and shampoo it along with this so here's the shampoo that you put on and the shampoo was feeling good now what i liked about it is that i the reason it's like really bouncy and flowy is because it's taking out all of the gunk out of your hair so I knew I was gonna be getting that like swing to it. Okay, and then after that, we went in with their conditioner from the line. And the conditioner, oh my gosh, let me tell you guys, for one, these products are giving orange, citrus, like high-end perfume oh my gosh my hairstylist right away was like this smells amazing she said that she could tell that my hair was really shiny after it was washed and i looked in the mirror you guys it was glistening i love that hey, i looked in there for the boxes did you find them they were we just took them out sitting right here i know i don't know where they are literally we literally took them out right here I know. you check the trashes obviously mm -hmm. right like it's we okay. took them out right here I, i'm just look? filming babe okay love you love you i just gotta grab this camera stuff well babe i okay well you're in the shots so and then we went in with this mask this premier filler mask oh now, the reason I knew I love Kerastase was because the only product I have tried from them was the purple one like this. It is for platinum hair and I used it on my wig and it is a purple mask and deep repairing treatment. You guys, that is the best hair mask I ever used. The wig was just re-nourished, not damaged anymore. It was so soft, so moisturized. So, I felt like I wasn't able to keep this in long enough, but it still did its thing. Now, what I really liked, okay, for one girl, then after that, do you guys hear that? Yes, girl, this is glass, it is heavy, it is nice. This is a serum. Now, hair serums are getting really popular, so I was really excited for this. Now, this is a leave-in conditioner serum. Mmm. This worked amazing, I loved it. Now the only thing I did not try from the line is this hair gloss because I thought this was hair oil but it literally is not. I just read the ingredients. There is no oil in this. I thought we could just use a little bit. If I would have known this, I would have put some in my hair. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Space is going to um, do his brother's graduation photo, so that's where he's about to go. You look beautiful, babe. Thank you, babe. You like my hair? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love your hair, actually. Thank you, I love Very, these products. Very nice, they did a great job this time. Thank you. Ooh, I'm loving this. Okay, so 
Um, you guys know that I always say, for me, it's all about moisture. Yes, this definitely moisturized more than the Sacred. It did not moisturize as much as the Orbe, but this is a lot lighter. It's giving, oh, my hairstylist said, oh my gosh, you guys, so it smoothed. I love you, babe. This is it for me. Okay. Love you. Love you. I'm gonna, I gotta go to the office first and then see you. Bye. Bye. Miss you, miss you. you look amazing, babe. Thank you. Yes, you know my man will hype me up, okay? So the thing that blew us away was that it was smoothing my hair so easily, so quick. When she was blow drying it, you guys, I don't want to say it took half the time to do my hair and blow dry, but I'll say we cut out a good 20 to 25% of the styling and blow dry time. When she was blow drying it, it was straightening beautifully. It was just sleek, it was shiny, and it, oh, it was curling. So I think my hair is good for it to have gone through the um, windstorm. Oh, let's see. Let me go look at the gloss real quick. Oh my gosh. So I feel like that just kind of revived it and gave it a little bit more life and body. So I just wanted to go over those things. <sighs> Everything in this line is worth it to me. But there was only one downfall on the serum, which is for anti-freeze reparative filler serum for damaged hair. It works to repel humidity, lock in moisture, and lock out frizz. And this is a heat protectant. The only thing is that she was combing through my hair. My hair was pulling and tugging a little bit. So we definitely had to use the dry bar, big, tall pink bottle, and it's a leave-in conditioner and a detangler. So I would have used my Orbe Priming Lotion Leave-In Conditioning Detangler on that step. So if you have 3C or 4C hair, you definitely would need a leave-in conditioner or a detangler because there wasn't enough like slippage with the products. But that was literally it. You guys, my hairstylist said she liked these products better than the Orbe. I think just coming from a styling perspective, it was just doing its thing. It was like she was blowing out, it was curling, it was on to the next. So thank you, Kerastase, for sending. Oh, there we, oh, look at that. Let's do the test. You guys see my hands going through it. Look at that curl that it I got. I was going through walking all over Vegas, everyone was staring. It was like the hair was herring, girl. Okay, now I'm so excited because we may be going to the Cheesecake Factory, so we'll see, but. Now I'm gonna run down and grab one of my packages because my book got here, girl, and I have been waiting for this. And um, I was reading it on Kindle, but it only gave a sample, which it was still like 80 pages of the sample. And I was just waiting for this to be available on Kindle, but it never became available. So I finally just got the actual physical book. So I cannot wait. A huge package from Prime, but it's too heavy. I can't pick that up. Space will have to come. But here's my book. <sighs> Here it is, you guys. The one and only Spare by Prince Harry. Girl, this book right here is all the tea. If you are anything like me and love the royal family or love Princess Diana, love Prince Harry, love Meghan Markle, girl, you better go run. Not walk, run and go get this, girl. The tea is spilling from the very first page, okay? You wanna know what this is about and why this is so crazy? This is the part that had me shook from the beginning. 
Oh, look at him and his mom. Part one, out of the night, that covers me. Girl, in the first 20 pages, it is already talking about the death of Princess Diana and how, where he and his brother were, what they were doing, and how their grandpa, Prince Philip, broke the news to them, girl. Him and the queen were so cold, girl, that they did not even give those little boys a hug when their mom died tragically. Girl, it is deep, okay? It, it is deep. But let me find the part that I'm trying to find here. Okay, girl, here it is, page 15. Balmoral had 50 bedrooms, one of which had been divided for me and Willie, which is Prince William. Adults called it the nursery. Willie had the larger half with the double bed, a good-sized basin, a cupboard with mirrored doors, a beautiful window looking down on the courtyard, the fountain, the bronze statue of a roe deer buck. My half of the room was far smaller, less luxurious. I never asked why. I didn't care. But I also didn't need to ask. Two years older than me, Willie was the heir, whereas I was the spare. This wasn't merely how the press referred to us, though it was definitely that. This was shorthand often used by Pa and Mummy, Pa being Prince Charles, his dad, and Grandpa, which is Prince Philip, and even Granny, which is the Queen, the heir and the spare. There was no judgment about it, but also no ambiguity. I was the shadow, the support, the plan B. I was brought into the world in case something happened to Willie. I was summoned to provide backup, distraction, diversion, and if necessary, a spare part. Literally like his kidney, liver, anything that he needed is what that means. Oh, here it is. Kidney, perhaps. Blood transfusion. Speak of bone marrow. This was all made explicitly clear to me from the start of life's journey and regularly reinforced thereafter. I was 20. The first time I heard the story of what Pa allegedly said to mommy the day of my birth. And he quotes, wonderful, now you've given me an heir and a spare. My work is done. Girl, I thought this was called spare because he spared himself and left the castle with Megan. That's what I thought this was about. Girl, I did not know it went that deep that this whole time for his entire life, Harry knew he was the spare and meant nothing and was of no service. So, as you guys know, this family has reigned for, I believe, around 3,000 years, if I'm not mistaken. And something else that was really interesting was that he also described Balmoral, which you guys know that's where the queen passed away and she went there every summer. And that's actually where Prince Harry and Prince William were at when they learned of the news of their mom. And another thing that was very interesting to me was that he described, because that castle is so old, he described how when you would turn on the water, which the basins, everything is made of stone, that it would come out brown. All of the water in there was brown. And I think it's very interesting. As soon as I heard of Princess Kate's cancer diagnosis, as well as King Charles' diagnosis, that is the first thing that my mind thought of. They need to check that water source. Something up in that castle is giving them cancer. 
Okay, so that's just kind of my thought on that. But he explained that at Balmoral, the queen's room is all the way at the top. And also too, you guys, did you know that the king and queen girl, they had separate rooms and beds. The queen does not share a bed with anyone, girl. I thought that was very interesting. I was like, girl, you go because I know that's right. Now, at the top of the staircase is a huge statue of Queen Victoria. And every time you go up that staircase, you must bow and say, your majesty. Girl, Queen Victoria is from like, I don't know how many years ago is Queen Victoria from, girl? So the fact that all of these kings and queens have lived in that castle where this man and Meghan Markle, okay, is in present day just blows my mind. So that is my rundown on that, girl. I'm about to cozy up to my book and Girl, it is good. I will leave the link below for it. So I just checked my um, Kindle and I'm actually already on page 108. So they give you a lot um, for preview, which I really appreciate. So I'm starting on chapter 53. So a lot of you have been wondering how I lost all of my weight. And you guys, I thought I could tell you now since I'm doing a healthy grocery haul, but it actually happened on accident because you guys know that I cut out all sugar. I was on a no sugar diet for a good three months. And then I started testing a product for my vitamin line that actually naturally curbs your appetite. And you guys, I did not know that when you cut out sugar from your diet, your body starts burning all of your fat. Yes. So I never put two and two together that your body uses sugar for fuel. So when that sugar gets taken away, your body starts eating away at your fat, you guys. So while my body was burning all the fat, I also was naturally curbing my appetite, which I didn't even, you know, realize. So those two things together is how I dropped all my weight. So as soon as I learned that I incorporated sugar back into my diet, and I just started bulking up on a lot of like fatty foods. So I've really been eating a ton of vegan chicken, french fries, potatoes, mac and cheese, cornbread, like all these fatty foods. And that's how I've naturally just gained my weight back. And even that was hard for me because you guys know my diet is naturally just very clean. So I really had to bulk up. I've been incorporating protein into my diet. So now that I'm at like a healthier weight now I just need a break from the fatty food you guys so I wanted to come do a healthy grocery haul and update you guys on that
I just started my stupid period, so I'm not feeling good. And baby's being so sweet as we're driving in the car. It's okay, babe. It's gonna be okay. See, he's like make sure that you get every little thing that you need. And every place we pass, like that, I'm just you know, kind of saying, oh, there's that, there's that. He's like, yeah, we can get you that if you want. We can get you a nice cozy dinner. Just make sure you're all set up. And he said he's gonna straighten the room and change the sheets and get the bed really cozy for me and get my shells on. And I love you, babe. He's just so sweet when it's that time of month for me because for my health, you guys, I got off of my birth control because birth control is very bad for you. That was years ago when I was going through my breast implant illness. So I go through these periods naturally, you guys, and feel every bit of it. So right now I've been, oh, you guys saw the um, hormone chewies, the cute little red hearts that, oh, and right now he's looking for a store where he can get me some Advil. Oh, nice. But yeah, I'm about to really start getting into like the Chinese herbs and stuff. I'm really about to like knock these symptoms out because you shouldn't be having bad PMS symptoms every month. That's a sign of something. Do you need anything else from in here, my love? Um, no, I don't have any cravings right now. You already got me a nice yummy muffin, which was the bomb. Um, I think I'm okay, honey. Water. I'll take another water. No. Nope. Okay. I think I'm good. Okay. I love you. Okay. So right now we are actually headed to BNC because I'm about to trade in my older vlog camera, which believe it or not, it's like a really nice dope Canon DSLR <clears throat> that I got right before we went to Bali. That's when I was like, oh, okay, I'm about to start taking the vlogging serious. And I think that whole system was like the lens, the body, the mic, all that. It was about $3,500. So it's so funny because I've been looking for new vlogging cameras because I vlog on the G7X right now. And girl, I'm just so tired of this camera as a vlog camera. But it's weird, some days it'll hit and then some days it just does not look right. But I have been using this to take my pictures and the picture mode is on a whole nother level. You guys have been seeing how my Instagram pics have been coming out. And it's literally like, I'm not even editing those pics or anything. They are just like, whoa. Oh my gosh, so I hit up BNC because I used to partner with them and that is where me and Space, we did a master class, a Canon master class, you guys. It was so amazing. The whole place was filled. When we go in, I'll show you. And it was amazing. I taught them everything I knew about cameras and about doing social media and vlogging and filming how I do my makeup setup, the whole thing. We reenacted it all and Space, you know, he has been a photographer since we were 19. That He's the one who did my first ever photo shoot, you guys, when we met on MySpace. So he, Space, you guys know, Space is cold with the photography, like we did our masterclass there. So that's where I bought the whole vlog setup, the Canon one. And you know, it's my, I have not used it because now also two things have changed on YouTube because of TikTok. Now everyone does their content on their phone and that made doing content on your phone acceptable. Now I don't have to have that huge crazy setup. Like the G7X or these smaller cameras are more than enough now so there's no reason like unless like i'm getting like millions of views on my videos or something then like okay yeah it makes sense like have the high top gear but at this point it's really like it doesn't really matter so i hit them up and said hey do you guys do trade-ins do you guys do buybacks you know i got my eos are with you and you know it's just kind of been sitting here and they said oh my gosh this weekend we're having an event a buyback event and they're doing vip today 
for um, customers before the event is open to the public. So that's where we're headed. I'm really excited. We have all of our equipment. It's in our bag right there. And actually our boxes are up in storage, but we did not have time to get them. So hopefully that's okay. But they did say they do prefer if you have your box, but that's where we're headed. And you guys, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm coming out of there with, no, we're gonna put it into the universe. I will be walking out of BNC with my new Sony vlog camera and you guys will see the difference. I'll show you guys and I'm really excited to see like the difference in quality, but oh, it's really good. I can't wait, so. Yay, thank you, babe. <gasps> oh, you got the big one. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are the minis. Okay, cool. Oh, and you guys, I've been taking my book everywhere and just reading it in the car and everything. We're here. Ooh, they have their Eames chair over here. Oh my gosh, you guys, the queen book. Oh. This queen, not the real royal queen. Saying bye to my camera that I shot every single makeup tutorial on, you guys. Uh, this is the one. She recorded every single tutorial. Goodbye. Okay, we traded one of the cannons. Let's see, what is it gonna be? Oh my God. <gasps> there it is, right there. That's the white one, but I want the black one. Thank you. It has quick focus, so if you show something or selling something, it would focus on the item immediately. The little made on Oh my gosh, it's just so simple and little. Well, okay. Even look inside. There's no like cables, no plastic anymore. If you oh, try to really? be all green, yeah. Oh, A lot of people green. think it's been like returned or open. I was like, no, that's how we ship it now. Oh wow. And here's the mic. Oh wow. So see here you can do let's say front you can do oh, front wow. and back if you're interviewing somebody oh you can do like full direction mm. wow baby's so sweet he said just stay there i'll take care of it and because we only got 850 for the trading but it came up to like 1100 and i went up there to pay and he's like oh i'll take care of it babe how sweet there you go, my love. thank you babe oh my god i have my new setup panko chicken now you guys that's vegan you know we love impossible and it's so good and i think i get the penny rosa with that let me see time t-y-m-e oh my gosh it is so windy and cold outside i cannot believe that this time of year it is still this cold usually in April, it is already so hot out here. I'm just eating and learning about my new camera. Which will give you a faster transfer speed. Both have a similar looking body and also similar. Oh my gosh, you guys. So Babe went to go do a shoot with his friends, but before he did, he set me up. So he changed the sheets. And you guys, why did he set up my little <laughs> section over here? all the little stuff before he left how sweet 
And why did he put on Sex in the City for me, you guys? My favorite show. So girl, we're about to relax and just watch our show. I thought it was warm when I was laying down. Why does he even have the heating pad set up for me? Shoot, girl. I am done. I am done, you guys. Oh my God, this feels amazing. I just sent this to space so that he knows that I'm enjoying his setup. Oh, and you guys, can you help me? I don't know what happened, but on the iPhone update, they like update the name and photo. Like I used to have the absolute love of my life. That was his name in my phone. And now like it's just his name. So you guys help me. How do I get that to change back? Because I tried and it just won't. Girl, why am I looking at the pics from the other night? See, this is exactly why I'm not getting rid of this camera because girl, the pics, they do not miss. Like, what? Oh, everyone? Oh my God. Hey babe. Hey honey. What's up? Like, come on, you guys. This is literally raw, straight out of the camera. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, and by the way, girl, your girl is getting thick again. Look at the booty sitting. Like, okay. so girl i'm really excited to finally tell you guys that i am wrapping up my vitamin line and i am now planning the launch party oh my god so i wanted to do an intimate garden theme dinner so i told space and he was like oh yeah let's go talk to mauricio this is our friend who owns a lot of the clubs and bars that you guys see downtown so i told him my entire vision and right here you can see he said he would love to have us and girl he was on it he pulled up this event that they already did he said we could do something like this and he also showed some examples of some food that we can do as well so i ordered my meal they do have vegan burgers here and i'm just so excited this is all coming together And 
I also wanted to, of course, look at the space. Now they did just finish cleaning up from a wedding reception they just had back here, so it does look a little different. But at nighttime, it is absolutely beautiful back here. They have a ton of lights. They have the fireplace going. Or we could do it over here in more of this designated area that feels a little bit more cozy and intimate and has more of a private feel. And he said he can also bring in a florist for me. Now here is also another area we could do it. So I'm just kind of looking at our options and I wanted to get it on film so that I can kind of look back at it. Now, guess what? He said we can also go the nightclub route, girl, and we can do a cocktail hour. We can do a mix and mingle. These are a few of the places we can do as well. And last but not least, we have La Mona Rosa. Now, this place is already very popular for their pink brunch days on the weekends. And we could do more of a dinner vibe here as well. So you guys let me know down below where do you guys think I should do it and what the vibe should be. So later that night, Space's sister's husband had his birthday party and they are from atl girl they just moved here so you know me and space we love the mega club vibe the excess we love going to the strip but they said they want to hear hip-hop girl so we were like okay we will take you to we all scream so we came out just to relax turn up party have a good time <laughs> And it was so fun, girl. The vibes were vibing. They had the bubbles. And why were they playing You're a Jerk? So we were like, hold up now. We got to pull out the jerk. You are not going to believe this. Our bottle girl was a fan of mine, you guys. And she is subscribed to my channel. Her in the blonde pigtails. Hey, girl. So that was so fun. She thought it was so cool that I was vlogging and that she was going to be in it. They had their bottle, but I just did these club soda shots all night and Space just did cranberry. So that was our night out. Just a moment on 